Hello, my name is Perry Krug and I'm a systems engineer with Gear 6. Today I'd like to introduce you to a new product offering from Gear 6. The engineers here have taken our Memcached D server, optimized and packaged it for use within Amazon's EC2 cloud. I'm going to walk you through getting the free version, but if you're looking for higher memory and better performance, we have commercial versions as well. The Gear 6 version of Memcache is way more efficient in its storage of memory, as well as allowing you to utilize the included block devices for even greater memory density. We also provide a simple, user-friendly interface to monitor your Memcache. If you're already using Memcache D in Amazon's cloud, you can switch over to our version at no extra cost and get much more efficiency as well as better monitoring. To get started, simply browse to your AWS console. You can access these instances via the command line interface as well, but it's much more fun to show it visually. Once logged in, select Launch Instances. Next, click on Community AMIs and enter Gear 6. You'll see two options here. The i386 is the free version, while the x8664 is the commercial. If you don't see the commercial version, go to Gear 6's website and follow the instructions to subscribe. Keep in mind that even the free version will require you to pay Amazon a nominal fee for the use of their service. After you select it, choose how many instances you want to start up, select a few other parameters, and click Launch. It will take a few seconds for the instance to start up, but you'll be presented with a public DNS name once it does. Next, simply point your browser to that address. Here you are presented with our user interface, which will let you visually monitor this instance. You have tabs for the traffic, basic stats, which is just the output of stats to a memcache server. The items tab is the same as running stats items on the server. The slabs tab is the same as running stats slabs. And the next tabs are gear 6 specific. The memory tab details information about the DRAM that is in use by this instance, and the storage tab details information about any block devices configured for this instance. Replication will show you any statistics about replicated traffic, and the health tab displays our continuous monitoring feature to make sure that this instance is performing correctly. In addition to the web GUI, you can also access this server via Telnet, and it will respond just like the open source Memcached D server. Now I'll use our Brutus tool to generate some load, and we can watch the pretty graphs. In addition to this main graph, which shows you sets, gets, hits, misses, and evictions, you can also break out each statistic into its own graph. Here are get hits, get misses, and here are sets. Lastly, this graph allows you to view the past 24 hour statistics at a 10 second granularity. Well, that's all there is to it. As I said before, if you're already using Memcache D in Amazon's cloud, you can switch over to our version at no extra cost and get much more efficiency as well as better monitoring. Thank you very much for listening to me and have a wonderful day.